So who we calling today? On my way down to Mississippi, I stopped over at this Love's. I just got finished doing an On The 30 video and I decided to make the call. Who we call today? Well, a subscriber hit me up on my Instagram post and he asked to find out about Climate Express which I got them on the phone and had a good conversation with them. Now the conversation probably might not have been long, but still the conversation was good. You know, found out that it's a small company located out of Missouri and they run refrigerated. They run OTR, but they will have you home every other week. They uh, got about 200 trucks with about 198 or 189 drivers. So that's still good. They're not forced. And the starting is pretty good. Starting is pretty good. So with that said and this intro, let's get into the call that's already in progress. All you have to do is All right, all right, all right. What's going on? Lockout men here will make the call. Yes, sir. I am back fresh. Just got finished doing the video, but now I'm doing another video. Yeah, since I'm still here at the Loves right quick, still got some time before I make it down to, uh, where, the, where the hell I'm going? I'm going down to Mississippi with this load right quick. But before I go, I figure on my 30, which is extended a little bit, which is all right, because I can do that. Thank you guys for all of the well wishes while I was, you know, incapacitated right quick. I'm not even sure when this episode is even going to go, uh, is going to post. Is it going to post by Friday? Is it going to post? It's, I, I still got to do an intro. I still got to do an intro to this. So, but anyway, listen here, listen here, listen here. This suggestion comes from Jason Chad, 76. And he posted in my Instagram post and he wanted to know about climate climate express inc now i'm here on the I'm, I'm here on the website as we can see as you guys can see i'm on the website right quick it has a uh, trucking job i mean trucking driving truck driving careers looking for a career in truck driving then climate express is looking for qualified drivers to join our over the road team check out what makes our company special and contact us about any opportunities that you might have they got logistics they got trucking they got warehousing so if you're not interested in just truck driving and if you just want to just do warehouse work boom get in there and do some warehouse work me i'm not a warehouse mm -mm. i'd rather be out on the road the time will go a lot faster than being in a warehouse and picking and all like that just can't do it just can't but anyway, Climate Express Inc. Let's see what they got to offer. Let's see. Let's see what they got to offer. Let's let's go to their their trucking page. So they are a refrigerated and frozen trucking LTL and TL. Climate Express has a large fleet of refrigerated trucking service for LTL and TL shipments. No matter the product, food, beverage, anything required refrigeration let climate express help so so far this right here these guys right here just do uh just do reefer trailers they have over 200 tractors and 400 trailers so i'm going to assume that this is maybe a small company a small company let's um uh, let's go to let's go to the what your name right quick before I actually give them a call and uh, oops here we go 
before we go yeah there we go let's go to the management system there we go and uh put the name in there oh there it is right there all right climate express inc they are located of progressive parkway union missouri number of vehicles 203 number of drivers 280 man so you might get a chance to get in there you know they got more they got more vehicles than uh drivers so this might be an opportunity for you so with that said with that said let's get them on the phone let's see what they got to offer climate express this is nick hey nick how's it going man is it are you a recruiter i am yes all right all right how you doing um i was uh i was talking to uh one of one of my driver friends and they kind of they, they kind of said hey why don't you uh see what climate express is about so i guess uh got you on the phone just to just to see what you guys is about man um what are you guys is about <laughs> well uh what we have here is over the road so mm -hmm. i wasn't sure if that's what you're looking for or not okay 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 are you currently driving for anyone now uh yes i am yes i am basically what i'm doing is like i like i said i'm just you know uh the the, the company came up in the conversation and they thought that you know you guys would probably you know just to get a little bit more information about you guys to see if it's if it's a good fit. That's all. I do have some questions myself, if you don't Go mind. Ahead. If you don't mind. Go ahead. Um, but let let me let me start off. Let me start off like this. Uh, are you guys? Do you guys offer schooling for for guys that don't have CDLs? We um, we unfortunately do not. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, our our, our our qualifications are that we require either a year or more mm -hmm. of tractor trailer or over the road experience. Oh, okay, 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 cool. Uh, now you said this is you said this, so this is just strictly over the road. So you you guys don't have no 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 regional sets or or local sets or Correct. or anything like that. Correct. So right. this, yeah, we were just strictly over the road. Yeah. Okay, so you guys travel all forty eight pretty much. Hello. Be in the middle corridor. Oh wait, yeah. wait! I, I missed that whole part. Can you, can <laughs> I think he went out. Hold on, I'm trying to make sure my phone. Okay. All right, Kate. All right. So again, I, I just said you guys just traveled the entire 48, right? I mean, not the entire. No. For example, we have no uh, forced dispatch to the west coast, so there's okay. not going to be a whole lot of freight west of Denver. Okay. Um, pretty much most of what we do is going to be in the middle corridor of the U.S. Oh. So there's not there's not going to be much above I-80 and not much below I-20. Um, okay. We do not uh, run to New York City, but we will go to other parts of New York. Um, okay. And, yes, we do run to the east coast as well, but not really much to the northeast. Yeah, east, I mean, northeast is not is not a fan. I'm not a fan of the northeast. Right. But you just mentioned that you guys are not forced... You you guys are not forced dispatch, so I'm not forced to go up to the northeast if I don't want to, right? Well, I mean, there's no forced dispatch to the west coast. Oh, oh, but there may right. be to the northeast, though. Right, but I mean, we rarely ever will will head that way. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, uh, what's what's the hiring areas? I'm out of Ohio, but what other areas do you do you hire out of? I mean, pretty much anything in the areas where we run, run really, we can you know get you on. I mean. Uh, anything outside of our areas, yes, we can still hire you. It just takes us a little bit longer to get you home. Okay, okay. Now, being that now, now home time is kind of a kind of a big deal. Um, so, how how often can I get home? Like, can I get home every week, every other week? Right. Our most of the time uh, with our home times, it's going to be every other weekend. Every other weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, so the the base. The base terminal is located out of Missouri? Right, yeah, that's our only main location, yeah. Okay, so that's where I have to come for my orientation? Right, orientation is every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and it's going to last between two and three days. Um, you do have the option of driving if you want, and awesome. we would reimburse you for gas, oh. of course. 
What about um, flying if I'm if I'm far away? Right. Otherwise, the second option would be to book travel for you. Uh, okay. We do plane. We will do plane, train, or bus. Awesome. To get you here. Um, and then once you're here, of course, what we'll do is put you in a Super 8 motel, which is right down the road from us. You'll have your own room all to yourself. Okay. And then by and then by the third day of orientation, we try to have you in your truck and on the road driving. Now let me ask you this: for uh, pre-employment, uh, for pre-employment stuff like drug screening and drug testing and stuff like that, would I be able to do all that before I come to orientation or during orientation? If you need a, let's say, for example, a physical, that you could get on your own, yes. The drug test, which we do a urine analysis, so a UA, uh, that would actually be done here. Okay. So you, you guys don't do hair follicles? No. Oh, okay. Do you do you guys have a, a, a sign-on bonus? And if so, how much is it and how is we, it paid out? We unfortunately do not know. Oh, okay, okay. One of those companies sounds like a... Sounds like a good company so far because y'all don't offer sign-on bonus. What about getting paid for the orientation, though? Orientation pay is $150. Now, the only thing is um, they say that you don't receive this until after 90 days of being here. But the thing is, let's say, you know, you get here and you're kind of, you know, you're hurting a little bit. You don't really have a whole lot right. on you. Right. You do have access to $100 of this when you leave the yard. Oh, okay. Um, Plus, every week we make sure that there's $100. Every single week we make sure there's $100 on your fuel card. So you have that available to you as well. Now, let um, me – oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm no, sorry. No, go ahead. Uh, the fuel card, Com Data or EFS? Com Data fuel cards and checks. Oh, okay. Uh, with our fuel stops being pilots and flying J's. Um, no loves? We all – no loves, no. No loves, man? Come on, <laughs> man. We I got points with loves. No, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> Um, and we also have uh, elite passes, which do cover scale houses, tolls, and bridges. Okay. Um, we also use TransFlow for the paperwork, which you can use at a truck stop or on an app with your phone either the way. Okay. Um, most of our loads are going to be one pick and one drop, or just a drop and a hook. Okay. Uh, we are 100% no-touch freight, as well as no hazmat either. Okay. Um, and you said you're in what part of Ohio are you in? Uh, I'm out of Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, okay. Okay, very good. Um, and then as far as, like, starting pay, there's no pay cap. So as long as you continue to perform and do well, your pay will always continue to increase. Um, what's the, what's, what is the starting CPM for a four-year well, driver? Yeah, yeah. You said you've been, you said you've been driving overall four years, you said? Yes. Okay, okay. Starting pay is going to basically be anywhere between 45 and 50. Oh, oh! Wait, wait, wait! You said between forty-five and fifty. So where would, where would I fit in at? I would say, I mean, you definitely wouldn't start off at forty-five. I know that. Oh, okay. Um, so I mean, you're looking at most likely somewhere in the middle, if not closer to fifty. Oh, okay. That sounds good. Okay. Um, okay. And then, of course, uh, drivers are paid loaded or empty, either way. Right. And we do have uh, weekly direct deposits, so you're paid every week, every Friday. Okay. Uh, as far as our equipment, what well, we have are 2017 and 18 Volvo 670s uh, with APUs on them. Do they, also, come, uh, do they come with any other amenities like a table, TVs, inverters? Uh, they do have spots for, let's say, like a TV or a microwave, yes. Um, as far as uh, built-in refrigerators, the 17 and 18s do not, but we do have some newer uh, 2019 and uh, Volvo 760s, okay. uh, which do have the built-in refrigerators in them. Oh, okay. Uh, That's not awesome. necessarily, I mean, it's not guaranteed whether you would end up in one right off the bat. Um, but, yes, we do have those available as well. What about... Uh, Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Um, all right. So you, you know, to, to back up a little bit about the uh, about the pre-employment stuff. If I already have my DOT medical card, can I can I come in with that, or do I have to get another one? As long as there is a year or more on it, you're fine. Oh, okay. Uh, if there's if there's less than a year, then what we'll probably need to do is have you have you get another one. Gotcha. Um, whether you do it on your own terms or whether you can do it, whether you do it here, either way, because we can do it for you here as well. All right. Um, I'm 
I'm not a now. Let me let me get this disclaimer out right quick. I'm not a felon, <laughs> but I, okay. I I do ask questions about felons. So, okay. what's you guys' policies on felons and drivers that has uh, DUIs or DWIs? Um, usually in situations like that, um, I mean, usually, I mean, at least, a, I mean, with our insurance. Um, usually they'll require uh, roughly about a three-year period. Oh, okay. Um, uh, in situations like that, um, and that's as for far as like that's that's for both, right? Uh, for DUIs, DWIs, and felons, or uh, it- felon, not so much on the felons, no, because we we can or we have and we can hire uh, felon yes. Oh, okay. So you guys are felon friendly. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Uh, how about how about hiring? Like you said, you guys need at least a year. So you guys don't hire no drivers straight out of out of out of school. Not nor not normally. No. 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 Usually, uh, with our requirements, is that we require at least a year or more of tractor trailer or a year or more of over the road. All right. Uh, the cent per mile, I'm liking that so far, you know, since you said I'll be teetering towards the 50 mark. But um, the uh, how often, uh, how being that you guys is refrigerated freight, right? How often is layovers, uh, detention and layovers there? We actually, um, the thing is, is like 50, I would say probably 55% of our loads are going to be um, dropping hooks. Oh, okay. Uh, so usually, and we're since we're 100% no touch freight, you're not having to worry about that either. So usually, our dispatch does very well with getting drivers in and out very. Uh oh. For having to sit and wait. Oh. Um, kind of lost so you for a second. Dispatch keeps you guys moving pretty quickly. Can you? Uh, can you hold on? Very well can you, ho- hold on for a second. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm losing you right quick. Hold on. Give me a hot second. I'm trying to walk around and uh <laughs> trying to walk around if i lose you i will call you right right back oh wait wait it just came back all right can you hear me check one two yes i can hear you okay cool cool all right it, it just came back sorry about that you that's know, okay uh trying to get this trying to get my phone in a good spot to talk to you man it's crazy um all right so so majority of it is uh dropping hook that's that's good too okay uh, right. Is there is there any is there any other pay on top of the CPM like uh, I know you guys uh, offer bonuses or something like that if we hit a certain mile mark or something like that? Right. Yes, we we do have uh, the bonuses and stuff like that. Yes, we have you know as far as like you know we have annual and safety performance bonuses, uh, good driver call in, driver of the month, driver of the year, uh, good DOT inspection stuff like that. Yes. Oh, okay. And uh, and we can run the tolls, right? There's there's no restrictions on the tolls, are there? Because of our elite passes, right? Oh, right. okay. All right. So how many? Um, oh, go ahead. How how many miles can I average a week? Um, right now our drivers are averaging anywhere between twenty seven hundred and three thousand miles per week. Okay. And done. Uh, the good news is is that uh, we do have. Um, you know, a good amount of freight to the point where we can probably even offer you more miles than that. Okay. Um, and I, and I, of course, we are on Qualcomm electronic logs. Right. So I know you can only do so much on so, the e-log. Exactly. But, uh, but as many miles as you're able to accomplish on that, they're available to you. Now, being that you mentioned Qualcomm, uh, personal conveyance, uh, are we able to take the trucks home? Yes. The, truck that are, the trucks that are assigned to you are considered your trucks there's no slip seating nothing like that it's considered yours that's the truck that you bring home with you and you park in your driveway and that kind of thing okay awesome see i'm i'm, I'm beginning to like it more and more what about uh what about pet and rider policy yes we do have we offer full coverage insurance benefits 401k uh we also have rider and pet policies available as well okay now you said uh now benefits that's including uh medical is it company paid or do i i gotta pay for the um a certain amount comes out weekly out of your paycheck yeah okay okay all right no force dispatch to to california that's 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 even a bigger thing how about driver cameras inside of the trucks we do not know okay that's enough that's that's a that's a bit plus uh are your fleet uh is your fleet automatics or 10 speed or yes both? Yes, all of our trucks are going to be 12-speed automatics with the I-Shift. 
Okay. Um, they are governed at 65, and as I said, we are on the Qualcomm ELDs. Okay. Okay. Well, awesome. Awesome. Um, and I'm sorry. Well, I didn't get your first name. I'm oh, sorry. my name's Shine. I'm sorry. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Like I said. Uh, like I said before, I, I, I was. You know, we was talking about uh, about different companies. You know, I'm in various groups and stuff like that, where a lot of drivers. You know, a lot of new drivers that's coming out. And, you know, it's just having a hard time, you know, picking the right home. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, you right. know, being that I've been out here for a while, uh, for a while, you know, I pretty much know what I'm looking for. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, right. Um, right. So you say you could get me home every other week. Right. Um, and I can average about 3,000 miles and no cameras right. in the trucks. That's right. uh, that seems that seems pretty good. Is there anything else you can uh, you can add that uh, that I probably haven't that I probably haven't touched on? Um, let me think. Let me think. Uh, let's see. I mentioned, of course, the insurance to pay the trucks. Right, right, right. Um, let's see, insurance and benefits as well right. as rider and pet policies. Right. Um, the ELDs, the miles, uh, orientation. Uh, mm -hmm. Orientation is every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday that's here in Missouri. Right, right. Um, I mentioned that yeah, you can either drive yeah, you, or you book yeah. travel. Okay. Um, and then, of course, while you're here, you're in a hotel with your own room. Um, okay. And then, of course, by the third day of orientation, we try to have you in your truck and on the road driving. Gotcha. Um, and, usually, and usually the first load uh, that dispatch will try to give you is they'll try to reroute you back to your home so you can pick up any personal belongings or anything like that. Okay. Um, how... So, getting with a good uh, dispatcher, you, you guys got a, got a good got a good dispatching team there oh, because absolutely. i figure i figure you know the drive what makes what makes the company good for the driver is a good dispatcher hello if we uh say uh that we have a very good group yes okay all right all right well um well thank you thank you what's, what's your name again uh, my name is Nick. Nick, um, uh, thank you yeah. very much. No, you're man. welcome. I really and do appreciate you, the time. Not a worry, not a problem at all. And if you want, Sean, um, what I normally would do, obviously, you know, if, uh, if a driver is interested, um, what we would need, of course, uh, would be an application. Um, and how I normally do that is I would send the driver an email. Um, and in that email, there's basically a link that you can click on that takes you right to our website. Well, I, t I tell you what, I'll give you my email address because if, uh, you know, because I do know some other drivers that might be interested as okay. well. And I can, you know, I can forward that to them as well. So Okay. Uh, yeah. So what, what's your address? Lockout Men, L-O-C-K-O-U-T. I'm still in full research mode right now. So I'm, okay. uh, you know, okay. the current company that I'm, the current company that I'm at is, is treating me well. So... Mm -hmm. But, you know, like I said, I, I take this information that I get from you. I, you know, I post it in a, uh, in a uh, Facebook group to let them know that I talk to you and everything. And if they're interested, you can definitely, you know, I'll let them know to say, hey, let, you know, lock out me and sent you. <laughs> right. OK. So, okay. But, That's hey, I do appreciate the time. Thank you very, very Not much. A I really Not a problem do. at all. And uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. I will. I will. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Uh -huh. All right now. All right, bye-bye. And there you have it. There you have it. Chad, uh, what's your name again? Uh, I forgot your name. Jason, Chad, 76. There you have it, bro ham. There you have it. There is your call to Climate Express, Inc. Sounds like a good company to get with. Sounds like a small company. They, uh, they starting is between 45 and... 50 now if you have the years such as myself you probably might be teetering towards the 50 like he said but what do you guys think of the call rate this call man let me see i will rate this as i would give it a nine i would give this call a nine he he was very attentive he pretty much he, he pretty much uh, mentioned some of the some of the criterias before I even asked him, which was real good. He went back over what uh, what I had asked, and uh, he was pretty he, he was pretty cool 
cool conversationalist. I like it. Number nine, what do you guys think? Rate the call in the comments below. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below. If you guys want to get with the uh, with the gentleman about Climate Express Inc., I do have the information. Let me make sure that he sent it. Uh, let's see. I'm going to my Gmail as we speak. Yep, I got the information for you. So if you guys are interested in um, in uh, climate control, what was it again? Climate, climate express. I got the information for you. So hook, you know, get with me, and I will send it to you. Well, as again, like I said, I like it. I like it. I, I like. I like small companies. You know what I'm saying? What I what I probably might not like is getting home every other week. You know, being that I'm so used to getting home every week now. You know, but I'm I'm glad that this is not a force dispatch type of company. They don't go down into California, but they do go up in the northeast though. But you might get a dispatcher that work with you. I don't know. Climate Control or Climate Express Inc. They're located out in Missouri. Guys, again, let me know what you think of the call in the comments below. Give me your rating for the call in the comments below. And uh, yo, get your suggestions in for the next call. Jason Chad, thank you for being a subscriber, man. Thank you for being a supporter. Yo, hook your boy up with some coffee, man. All right, just do that. Y'all, hook your boy up with something to drink, okay? All right. That's it. I'm done. Until the next call, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.